understand what's happening to me. But whatever it is, it started when you entered my life. So as much as it may upset Addy, you and I are breaking up. God bless you. It's good enough for Todd's baby. It's good enough for mine. Little bastard Thornheart broke up with Star. You went ballistic when he wanted to be with Star. And now you're going to go crazy because he doesn't want to be with her? I wanted her to stay away from him, but he didn't have to break her heart. You already broke her heart. So this is the reason you came over here to, to harp on me about Star? Yes, that's exactly the reason. Why don't you go talk to your niece about it? Okay, no, I no, 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 no. See, these two kids have been through enough without the two of you getting all involved and making things worse. Dorian, you came over here because you found out that we were gathered together, and you just came here to make a scene. <laughs> I do not have to listen to this. Oh, well, you know where the door is. Dorian, please. We've had enough tragedy and drama around here. We don't need this. Jessica, I really... Save it. Look, I'm going to ask you one more time, and I'm going to ask you nicely because you saved my life. Please go. This family has had to put aside an awful lot just in order to be together to say goodbye before I go. You're leaving? Going back to Texas to sling hash again? No. Those days are long gone. I said this is Brody Lovett. Who's this? Lovett, it's Balsam. Listen, this is really important. I don't allow time to talk. I need to talk to Morass. Gigi, put her on. Sorry, Balsam. I can't. I can, uh, explain. Explain? Explain this. You time and lying, son of a bitch. Vincent? Please tell me this crazy lady is a stalker. You have a restraining order against so we can call the police. Yeah, Vincent. Go ahead. Tell them. Subpoena my phone records to show all the received calls from you. That's right, honey. If anybody was stalking, it wasn't me. Let's go somewhere where we could talk to you and me. First of all, I'm not sure, honey. Second of all, we're not going anywhere. You're going to tell me the truth right here and right now. It's true. I've been hooking up with the both of you. Brody, listen to me. you got to get Gigi on the line. This is really important. It's a matter of life and... I said I can't. She's in the shower. And I'm about to join her. Carlo made Talia marry that Jonas freak? Yeah. She didn't have much of a choice. There was no way I was going to let her, but she told me I had to. I'm going to get her back. I don't care what I have to do. Can you get us back? Yeah, sure. I'm not going anywhere. You know, you are the toughest, strongest... You have no idea how happy I am to have you on this plane. I think I do. You're going to be okay, Antonio. Once I get Talia back. I'm really glad for you, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm still hoping it's... Not just a dream. No, it's real. She caught some luck. You both did. And you will, too. You know, as soon as we, we get back to Landview, we'll call the feds, tell them about Hester, figure out a way to get Tali out of my door. We can do it. You know why she did it, don't you? So that the rest of us could go. A lot of people aren't that brave. I just can't help thinking that there was another way, that there was something else I could have done I get that. I, I felt like that about Sarah. But you know, Talia, she's she's tough and she's smart. She'll find her way back to you, too. Honey, you have no idea what it felt like watching you go over the falls like I did so many years ago. Oh, honey, I would, I would have gladly taken your place and stepped into that boat. Mom, I, I wouldn't have wanted you to. Yeah, but the... The thought that I was never, 
I'm never going to see you again, and it, it was because of me. Mom, I'm okay now. Are you? I mean, are you sure? I'm going to have you checked out at the hospital as soon as we land, all right? <laughs> Wait, you think this is funny? I know. Oh, why? Because you're being such a mom. Well, I think it's about time, don't you? What's that? How was what? <clears throat> you just, uh, shoved in your pocket? That's my cell phone. Yeah? Hmm? Just... Jewel and Oh, most inappropriate. Do you have the jewels? Mm. That's what you went back for? Honey, I did it for us. Then why didn't you tell her about them? Why were you hiding them? Mm.